Mustang man to create an all-star plumber to be at my house today doing a lot of stuff. Eddie Pruitt before, talked to Eddie last night. He does have two Mustangs, Joseph. It's too cold for me to go outside and right. work. Right. And Brad Stovall Auto Body Shop. Any car shows this weekend? It's a rare day. I don't have a car show to talk See, about. See, you won't feel bad coming out of town. I looked at the list, and there was none. I pulled up a second But y'all are going somewhere. We are. Uh, our Limestone County Mustang Club uh, and our group are headed tomorrow to um, cruise the Natchez Trace. Uh, should have about eight or ten cars minimum. It's just a lot of fun. A lot of the wives will go and take photographs. Do you lead? Being the president? Uh, sometimes they want me to lead. What's some... the speed limit on that Natchez Trace? I think it's 50. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can tell a funny story, but I better say that. For and you're time. having lunch where you are? We're stopping for lunch at the Rattlesnake Saloon. Uh, and somebody Rattles said, wait a minute, isn't that a bar? And they said, no. They it doesn't turn alcohol. into a bar until like 5 o'clock at night. I heard so. you had to get in the pickup truck. In a, have you ever been in the ring? Mm -hmm. I have. I've heard of it. You've been there. Have y'all been there? Never been there. Isn't it on the inside of a cave? Cave, yeah. Yeah. You have yeah. to get to yeah. I'm looking forward to it. They said the food was good. So, uh, but those cruises are nice because you can just drive the speed limit. You can take it easy, look at the leaves, just enjoy yourself. Um, Your wife going with you? No, she's got her big sale going on tomorrow. Across the so street at the First National Bank. That's right. right. Give her a free right. there. Uh, yeah. Southern Chicks pretty cool. Marketplace. Yeah, let me, let me, that is the car. That is the 2015 Mustang that we will be seeing shortly from Eddie Pruitt Ford. Uh, that one's got a few uh, bells and whistles on it. That's a five liter with some uh, black rims and performance suspension, but uh, I can't wait, can't wait. Maybe it'll give us a test drive in that thing. Well, did you hear about the guy that took out a 2015 Chevrolet Corvette this no. week what happened? in rainy weather? How's this going to go, Frank? Not too good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Spun it out, brand new Corvette. What are those things cost, about 80000 Oh my word. 70, yeah. 70, wow. Wrecked it. Tore the whole thing to pieces, basically. That's awful. Yeah, right. that. so we driving tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Is it, Brad had another yeah. picture there I wanted to give a shout out. Uh, after the Veterans Day parade uh, this past weekend, uh, our club made a donation to, it's a group called Helping Limestone County. Uh, Part of the veterans group, they give meals uh, at Thanksgiving and Christmas, so we made a little donation to them, and that's part of our group there. All right, great. Barry, where'd you play last night? Played at Village Pizza last night, right here in Athens. Yeah, good crowd. Mm. It was pretty good for, you know, Thursday night oh. below how, freezing. How can people find out and get your music? <laughs> they go to barrykmusic.com. Oh, tomorrow, I want to tell you all about, uh, you ever been to, you know, I bet you all go to the Expo, right? The Children's Health and Resource yeah. Expo. Yeah, well, we, I've never heard of it. It's, <laughs> you've never heard of it? I, I thought you were out there with your cameras, you know. I don't like capture. Listen, I worked last week. I worked last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday shooting video. <laughs> anyway, I'm playing. Do it. It's it's a it's a neat. I've never been either, but uh, they asked me to play. Uh, <laughs> well, don't make me feel bad about not going. <laughs> I, was, I thought it's like what you do, you know, cameraman. Uh, but. Uh, this, uh, they you have booths. Know about it? <laughs> yes, I'm going to tell you what I know about it. They have booths and they have uh, children's education uh, okay. resources where, yeah. and things that you. So where is it? It's at the Civic Center in Huntsville. Oh, okay. The East I know where that Hall. Is. You know, <laughs> so uh, and I'm playing like from 10 to 3, not the not five solid hours, okay. but on and off from well, 10 to 3. Well, you'll be amongst your kind then. Yeah. Kids. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's, That's the nicest thing you ever said to me. <laughs> yeah. You got a. You got a. You got a special. Thing coming to, are you even working Sunday? Yeah, I'm working. I'm going to be there. You going to be there? Mm. I don't miss many. Uh, that's right. <laughs> We're going to have Dr. Billy Graham is going to be with us Sunday. Well, mm. by video. By video. Yeah. By we're, video. we're doing our. We wouldn't be able to get everybody in down there if you showed right. up at 96 years old. We're doing uh, My Hope Heaven, and Billy Graham's going to be uh, doing a video on heaven. It's a great video, testimonies. And so uh, we're having both services, 845 and 1030. And asking people to bring a friend with them, somebody maybe this unchurch. Well, that narrows it down for me. And come and uh, bring bring your friend. <laughs> Don't you, I, I, but, uh, <laughs> I have got something I think we need to try to do. All right. You know, Al Roker right now is setting the world's Guinness Book of Records for weather. Weather. Yeah, I heard that. A Florida preacher just surpassed. He's 31 years old. Yeah. Just surpassed world record for longest speech by a preacher. Right. Do you know about it? Mm -hmm. uh, how long was it? 53 hours, wasn't it? 53 hours wow. and 18 minutes and preached 45 sermons from the Bible, which surpassed the record. Yeah. How could, we, how could you do that? 
You get five minutes for every, but he. I believe I could do it. I bet he could. <laughs> and you got to have Good at least it, ten people sit through the entire thing. Oh, yeah, that'd be the record. Yeah. That'd be the record having ten people sit through it. Does it have well, to be know, the same sometimes, sentence, or can they rotate? You, know, you can count yeah, on the deacons to be Yeah, there. I could count on my deacons. Joseph would be there See, with me. There's always there's always kind of a falsehood that you say every sermon at Lindsay Lane. I'm You'll say, this close. is my last thing, and I'm finishing up. I'm going to close. I'm going to close. close. Yeah, close. close. Get it right. Okay. Get it right. Well, <laughs> I'm looking over at the clock. I'm saying, okay. I love the close. <laughs> <laughs> he does about five times. Yeah, about ten days. minutes after you're supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> what cracks me up is he'll preach for 30 minutes, and then he'll say, okay, now that was the introduction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my outline. <laughs> All right. So right. everybody needs to come on down this Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a special service. We'd like to invite the public to come, and as always. And be a part of that service. My hope, heaven, and uh, learn about heaven and what it's going to be like. I've been preaching on heaven the last two Sundays, so this well, is kind of capping look the same. That. <laughs> Well, your hair will be different. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be black like mine. We're on a bicycle today, spinning out the dust. That's that sermon you had. I said, "When we get to heaven," I said, "Are we going to remember people like they were the last time we saw them?" Or no, you'll, you'll be changed. You'll remember them. Though. Yeah, you'll have a glory. I told body. Dusty, what did I say? I said, well, when you get there, let me know. He said, what makes you think I'll be going for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you always act like you're in such a hurry. <laughs> I'll take my time. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I actually am. I'm looking forward to a beat down this week. What do you think the baby game's going to be Saturday? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to win. How's that transition? <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to win. I really do. We're not going to ask you, Joseph. By I'll 10. Bama by 10. Oh, that's what I, about what I'm saying. Now, when don't worry, Bama. We won't ask you a football I'll player. I'll say Bama by 10. You watch the game. Will she know. be rooting for Bama? <laughs> no. <laughs> she will not be rooting for All Bama. All right, let me go to a little bit of video right now. Last Friday, me, Maddie, and Glory made our way down to Henry and Marsha White's. They had to, they do this annually and have I the Bertie Thornton. Thornton. Neil so sings a song right here. <laughs> And then we'll come back with Barry Kay and go out on this uh, Friday morning roll tide roll tomorrow. <laughs> Smile, everyone. What do you think? Who's going to win that Georgia game? Mm. I think Georgia going to win it. That's what I, figured I do, say. because That's I think it's revenge. Let's go to that video. We'll come out with Barry Kay coming out <laughs> yeah, back and finish this up on a cold Friday morning. Y'all hang on. <laughs> Josh, what's the number one TV show? Josh? 31. She says 31. 31. ZTV. Sharon C. Sharon C. Cooper Show. Cat Cooper. Sharon C. That's on the charter. Just say ZTV. 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 Anybody else want to your what? What? Glory Cooper Show. Yeah, Glory Cooper Show. I got you, Glory Cooper Show. <laughs> hey, Neil, did everybody see the Christmas Carol while you got me here together? Oh, no. Hit it, Neil. Let's get it down. Come on, break out with something. Sing something, Neil. Come on, Neil. Yeah, this is a little lot of mine. Yeah. Do it, Neil. Do it, Neil. Do it, Neil. Come on. Come on, Neil. This is a lot of mine. Tony, look. Come on. Oh, y'all ready? We're ready. Yeah. I'm very ready. Get on. Here we go. This little light of mine.
the best darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather bed. It was nine feet high, six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four eleven geese, took a whole boat of cloth for the tick. And it would hold eight kids and four hound dogs, and a piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. After supper, we'd sit around the fire, the old folks spit and chew. Pa would talk about the farm and the war, Granny'd sing a ballad or two. Well, I'd sit and listen and watch the fire till the cobwebs fill my head. Next thing I knew, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the old feather bed. It was nine feet high, six feet wide, and soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of forty lemon geese to gold for the cloth or the dick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy we stole from the shed. Didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. I love my ma and I love my pa. I love granny and grandpa too. I've been fishing with my uncle, wrestled with my cousin. I even kissed Aunt Lou. Ooh, but if I ever had to make a choice, I guess it ought to be said. I'd trade them all plus the gal down the road for grandma's for the bed. It was nine feet high, six feet wide, soft as a downy chip. It was made from the feathers of 411 feet. Took a hold on a glove of a dick. And it would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy we stole from the shed. Didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. up in 